Hello and welcome to another episode of the Havelina Coaches Show, episode 14 of the Havelina Coaches Show for the 2021-22 season. And we're joined by our first guest on this episode of the show, and that's head Havelina men's basketball coach, Johnny Estelle. Coach, good to see you again. Thank you for making some time. Thank you for having me, Mark. Back to another game week for you guys coming off of a, a rare week off in the schedule. How happy are you with the things you guys got done last week? Oh, wow. We really needed it. You know, we've been under the weather, you know, that one week. But that last week of we played was very difficult. Uh, we had a lot of guys that were having to go in and out of urgent care and things like that. Flu ran through our team. But, you know, we and then we had finals on top of that. So we had a very stressful week. We had two really good opponents. As you know, UTPB has got a really good team. And Angela state that was you know, nationally ranked that coming in so you know that was a very stressful week so it was good to have a week that we could go recalibrate uh, focus on finishing finals um, and then kind of you know get healthy and work on fine-tuning some things so we, I feel really good where we are. You mentioned all the things your team had going on you're recovering from two really um, stressful and um Two games that take a lot out of your players. They have finals as well going on. But were you happy in the midst of all that with the intensity and the energy they brought to practice every oh, day? Oh, no question. Yeah, I mean, you know, these guys, are they're winners. They're warriors. You know, I always say that about them. They, they represent um, how you should approach life every day. You know, and that's, like I always say, it starts at home. They, they came here with that. Um, I've... You know, the Havilene Nation has benefited from that. Men's basketball has benefited from the work ethic that they was taught at home. And all I do is coach them and mentor them and get them to the next level. And uh, they, they do a great job. They, they, they're pleasers by nature. I'm talking about everybody on this team. And they're competitors by nature. So it's a lot easier to have those kind of guys with talent playing for you and representing you every day. How happy have you been with the, the start of this week so far? Oh, really good. Really good. Really good. They, uh, the kids have really uh, had a lot of energy. It's almost like we've been you know, re reinvigorated a little bit. So uh, very, very happy with what we are. You have two games coming up this week, both on the road. You'll be in Austin against St. Edwards on Saturday. And then on Monday, you'll play St. Mary's in San Antonio. Two talented, well-coached teams. How do you prepare for the challenge that they'll present? Well, I'll tell you what. You know, we've had some battles with those guys. You know, they're, they're natural rivalries, uh, you know, because of location. Uh, very well. You know, Coach Cook does a phenomenal job with that program at St. Edwards. Man, I mean, he has uh, done a great job of elevating the program to a, a high level. And then Coach Z, who's been there since I've played, uh, he was a, you know, well, that's the only job he really had. He told me one day he, he played at St. Mary's, he GA'd there, and he's been assistant coach when I was playing there and the head coach. So that's the only co collegiate job he's had. And he's, he's a diehard St. Mary's guy, like I'm a diehard Havelina. So uh, him and, and Bubba has done a great job there with that program. So with that being said, they have uh, two different teams. Um, one team, I mean, it's very difficult to defend from the offensive end and does a great job on the defensive end. The other team has good athletes, great speed and quickness, plays in space. Um, you know, it's a challenge. Uh, you know, uh, St. Mary's is huge. You know, got a lot of size. Uh, so, you know, they're going to present an issue. How do you try and prepare this team and put them in the best position to have success this week? Well, I think tempo is always important. You know, we have to control the tempo, and I think defensively that's the way we try to do it, uh, defensive rebounding. Um, you know, we really have spent a lot of time shooting the ball because we wasn't shooting the ball very good the last few games before the break. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully we're executing better offensively, uh, shooting better, getting to the free throw line, and having more balance. But it, it's all about getting stops in defense and uh, executing uh, on the offensive end. All right, well, Coach, best luck this week. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you. I'll be sure to follow, but you can follow both games. We'll have complete coverage on HavilineAthletics.com for both matchups this week. And then don't forget, Coach, the next time we'll see you guys back at home will be December 31st. The number one team in the nation, Lubbock Christian, will be here on New Year's Eve. So come start your New Year's celebra Eve celebration with us at the spec. We'll take our first break on the Havilina Coaches Show, and we'll be right back, so don't go away. Welcome back to another episode of the Havlina Coaches Show, and we're joined by our next guest, and that's from Havlin Women's Basketball Assistant Coach Kayla Weaver. Coach, two weeks in a row, nice to have you back. Oh, thank you, Mark. Now, you guys are just about to hit the road. You guys have a game against St. Ed's in Austin on Friday, on Saturday. Excuse me, you'll be in you'll be in San Antonio on Monday against St. Mary's. Now, you're coming off of a week where you guys basically had off. I knew you guys were in the gym practicing, but how were you? How happy were you with the things you guys got accomplished last week? Um, we were pretty satisfied. I, I think as a coaching staff, they they were really focused. 
even though you have a week off, sometimes that's kind of the uh, thing you have to worry about, maybe lack of focus. Christmas break is coming up, so you're looking at that break. And so we have we talk about it. Um, we try to meet it head on about just focusing, um, that we want to finish strong, and then, of course, go enjoy family, go enjoy Christmas. But been really pleased with their energy and effort, honestly, for the last two weeks, the week before our break and then this week. I thought they've brought in a lot of good energy. When you have a the schedule set up like this, you guys have basically a week off, two games, and you have another week off for the holiday break, break before you dive into the conference schedule. Is it how beneficial is it to have a, a kind of a, a slow or a, a period like that? You know, yeah, it, it is. You might think that you can get out of rhythm a little bit because we're maybe starting to find some rhythm offensively, but it's actually good. You can get some rest um, on your bodies. You can fine tune some things in practice, um, and so it's been good. I think it's kind of been a Good schedule for us being able to uh, get a break and get some new things in and then prepare for our next opponent. When I was talking with uh, Coach Madrid after the win over Angelo State, mentioned first time this team had gotten a 6-2 and two in, in more than a decade. He said that, well, this program's relevant again that, and that for a while he feels like people might have looked at this team on their schedule as an automatic win, but that's not the case anymore. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but this team has a, we have a team that hasn't gotten to 8-2 and two in, I think, 20 years. Okay. Um, when you have a team like that, where do you have to prepare a team a little bit differently when you can go look at the teams in the schedule and say, hey, teams are not going to take you guys lightly now? Do you have to prepare this team a little differently? Um, I don't think we prepare any differently because our, our motto is still the, you know, 1-0, and right? 1-0 and each day, each practice, each game. So we try not to look ahead. Um, we try not to talk about that stuff a lot rather than the task at hand. Um, but, you know, when those things do happen, we do celebrate them and commend them because, you know, they chose to come here and buy into this culture and be a part of it, and that's a huge credit to them. Um, but we still, I, I think the philosophy is still just kind of one day at a time, um, one opponent at a time. Kind of worry about yourselves, let everything else take care of itself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These are two teams you guys play, obviously saw last year, St. Ed's and St. Mary's. You played them both at home on the road, and this is the first of two times you guys will see them this year. The next time will be here in Kingsville. But how do you prepare? What are the things you guys need to be ready for against these squads this weekend? Yeah, we um, actually, some people are confused because the conference is a little different this year. We go play them, it's not conference. Um, and then they come to us and it is conference, like you know. Um, but preparing for them, you know, we, we are familiar with them. Um, St. Ed's has a couple, uh, I'd say a lot of new players. So, you know, a little bit different personnel-wise. But, you know, they're going to get up and defend. And, um, and St. Mary's is well coached as well. And so I, I think just knowing them a little bit and being at St. Mary's tournament, you know, you're familiar with the teams. Um, but I think our girls have, like I said, been really focused this week and uh, mentally and brought the energy in. So I think we're well prepared and ready to go this weekend. Yeah, you stick around here long enough. You'll see a few, you'll see a few things from this uh, from the conference that'll make you kind of scratch your head. <laughs> but um, what are the, the, the things you guys need to accomplish? What are the, the goals that your team needs to try and reach in order to make this a successful weekend? Uh, I mean, the, the thing that we've been talking about for, I think, since the bye week is just staying in focus and one possession at a time, one game at a time. And so they've done a really good job focusing. You know, they're a fun group. They We have study hall during the uh, week. Um, well, not now, we're out of school, but you know, it's funny, you'd walk into the study hall room and there's always film on, you know, and you like that, but then you're also like, you know, take care of your work, but they did great in the semester. 3.3 .3 as a team had a couple of presidents and stuff, so they took care of that too, but um, I do think they just enjoy um, being a college basketball player and putting in the work that it requires, and so I think it's going to be fun to watch them this weekend, and um, hopefully we can go 1-0 two times. How we're, uh, to back to the, the GPA you mentioned, how rewarding is that for, for you guys as a coaching staff to see your team? Oh, that's good. And Coach Madrid, you know, he, he talks about it being we want to win. Obviously, everybody wants to win, but graduation is the most important. And Annie graduated, um, I think cum laude, I don't know. I think that's I think that's right. I don't want to misspeak, but she had she said I think three 4.0 semesters in a row. She was on the president's list this semester. Brianna Pena was a 4.0 engineer. She has a 4.0. Jade is another 4.0 student, and then we had Mia Rivers, Veda, and Devin all on the honor roll, and then the majority of our team a 3.0 and above. And so they're just taking care of things on and off the floor. And so you can I mean it's just easy to be proud of them. All right, well, Kayla, thank you so much for your time. Go have some fun in Austin and San Antonio. We'll see you there this weekend. Thank you, Mark. And you can follow both games live. We'll have an audio stream with yours truly from both Austin and San Antonio this weekend. We'll have complete coverage on Havilland. And don't forget, after the holidays, the Havilanders will host Lubbock Christian here on December 31st. The next time, we hope to see you here at the Spec. And between now and then, 
Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on New Year's Eve. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Havlina Coaches Show. We'll see you again next time on the Mendoza's Pharmacy Havlina Sports Network.